Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Pokemon Rosen, a brand new fan game that was shown at the EV Expo and it looks absolutely fantastic. If you guys want to play along, as always, check the link in the description down below. This game looks so, so good, so let's jump right into it. This is your on-the-spot reporter for Reality TV, the biggest network operating across the globe. Some of you may have heard the story before though, so feel free to sit back and relax. You've got play intro and skip intro. We're definitely going to play the intro. Today, we bring you an exciting news bulletin. After much anticipation, the doors of cyber have opened, and huge crowds have gathered for the chance to be a part of the action. Take a look around us, at all the eager people who have gathered. They've officially unveiled their latest virtual reality project. They state creates a seamless world filled with extraordinary creatures. What do they call these creatures? Why, Pokemon, of course! The owner today marks the revival of a landmark gaming franchise from the late 20th century. Somewhere around here, the creator's favourite Pokemon Snorlax is surely blocking the way. Of course, it's just a person in a costume. Oh, okay, it's a great costume. The big news, of course, is that the first official beta test will be conducted by the hat loving or bow adoring. Well, I do love a hat. Child of the company's founder, Dr. Rosen. Did we forget? Their name is. I'll put in a Voltsy. Nice. So it was at the behest that the project be started. And look how it's turned out. There was some doubt as to the intrusive nature of the DreamNet system, but it certainly has not affected the attendance. Stand by as we begin to interview members of the crowd. Ooh. So this is what my father created, is it? It's perfect. I can't wait for everyone to experience the joy of Pokemon. I could go straight through, but I could see everyone here is ready before I do. And maybe they'll drop some hints about any surprises I can expect. Ooh, okay. All right, uh, sup? How's it going? Uh, the crowd's already immense outside the building, Voltsy. You're brave for using the DreamNet with numbers like that burning the server. Of course I believe it can handle it, I just wouldn't want to be the one to test it. Oh, you know something's going to go wrong. But here's the free starter Pokemon. So brand new forms, we've got a Mareep, a Porygon, and a Solacis. Well, that looks a bit like Salander to me there. <laughs> uh, sup? So welcome to the Cyber Complex. The desk will be used to purchase and apply unique skins to player avatars when we open today. We will allow for people to look like significant characters from the classic Pokemon video games. Most people we expect will just enter the world as themselves, however. Of course, you already know this. Please look forward to the release. Okay, sounds good. Uh, sup? So welcome to the Cyber Complex. This desk will be used to grant you your access key for account setup when we open today. Of course, your account has already been set up. Please proceed ahead so you may access the water Pokemon. That sounds so good. Uh, okay, access key again, that's the same bit. I'll right, check out the left side and then we go through. Sup, dude? So bound to be a busy shift today, eh, Voltsy? Employees are allowed to enter the system for free, though. So I'll be joining you straight after I'm done. Oh, nice. Employee perks, baby! <laughs> this is it. The big moment. My program is being executed. That sounded a little bit evil. Voltsy, what timing? Quickly typing up some loose ends between account creation and actualization. Should be done before you make your trip. I'm gonna get trapped inside the, uh, the game, aren't I? It's an artist rendition of the Pikachu redesign I made. They really captured the environment I'd imagine it living in. Ooh, okay. But despite ridiculous amounts of testing, that some of these terminals still throw up errors. This one is a lost cause for today, at least. Yeah, I'm- Ooh, we'll cast the menu. Anything in our bag? Nope. But anyway, I'm definitely gonna get trapped inside the game. It's gonna be like a Sword Art Online sort of thing, isn't it? 100%. Uh, this is the way forwards. I am I ready to go? Yes, I am. Alright. Uh, can we go through here? Door leads to Cyber Nexus 02. I'm sure that my father is meeting me here, though. Okay. Where is our dad? Oh, it's got to be this dude with the cool hair. Ah, you've arrived, my child. This here? This is all because of you. Your passion for an almost ancient cultural movement inspired investors and led Cyber down the path we find ourselves rocketing along. Behind me, you see but one of the many hubs of the DreamNet. A full immersion system that's, that through our subconscious allows us to access a simulated world. Ah, but you know this. I've kept it a surprise, however, that the world we've created is aware. It is constantly changing, only nudged by our programmers to achieve our vision. You'll see this for yourself. Let us begin. Okay, so the world we have created is a new region not found in the source material. We call it Alicia. Alicia, right? So this here will be your operator. They'll be able to communicate with you within the system if there is a dire need. Of course, we try to avoid this wherever possible. It brings immersion, you see. All right. So the DreamNet appears to be functioning without fluctuations. System ready, please enter your capsule. You must ask before you begin, how would you like to play the game? Oh, easy mode or normal mode? Um, depends how hard normal mode is. 
but we'll, we'll go with normal. Hopefully we can change it later on. It's too hard, obviously we can just go back, but let's go normal. So in the normal mode, the level limit system will be enabled and making all the trials you'll face satisfyingly challenging. This is the way we've designed the game to be played. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll play this way then. Very well, I'll enable these settings. Do remember, Voltsy, that this system has been tested stringently, but it, but it is not without bugs. The second you encounter one, trigger the failsafe to wake yourself up and take no chances. They take the form of a pure blue crystals that only the player should be able to see. Your choices in this world, the things you do, they will have real impact. Ooh, okay. Choose your adventure wisely and enjoy your experience in that world and be ready for the world here to come and join you. I love games where like if you make a decision like it changes the story. I hope that's what it meant, but they're inside. How long before the dream activates? Imminently, sir. All systems appear to be... Appear to be what? What has happened? It should be nothing, but the Dreamnet has activated without my commands. They've been pulled in. Abort the program immediately. Sir, I can't. My console's frozen me out. Oh no. So welcome to the Dreamnet. You've been identified as Voltsy. Please prepare to be entered into the Elysia region first server. Error with server connection. Attempting to correct. Failure to correct connection error. Establish connection to unregulated server. System error. System error. Memory uh, preservation system disengaged. Failsafe system, disengaged. Time alignment system, disengaged. World guidance system, disengaged. System error, system error. Please prepare to be entered into the Elysia region zero, zero server, Oh, Nice. Hello, can you hear me? I'm talking to you through your dreams. This might surprise you to hear, but this dream you're having is a very pivotal gateway to this world, the world of Pokemon. Oh, my name is Oak, by the way. People call me the Pokemon professor. We're looking at you as you're looking at us. How would you like to go on an adventure like no other? We've opened a gateway. This is a limited time offer. Soon the gateway will close. I don't know when we'll be able to open it again. Oh, look at that! It's like a little Voltorb ditto. So listen to me closely, young trainer to be. I told you that this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. They're truly extraordinary and capable of amazing things. The forms we've found here in Elysia though, they seem to change the world around them on a whim. We call them Rosen forms. We still don't know much about them. So we're thinking though, you might. We trace their energies back and whatever created them seems to be in your very world. But enough of that. Voltsy, are you ready? I can sense your anticipation. Your very own Pokemon story could be about to unfold. You could solve a mystery like no other. Now reach out, just like that. I'm reaching out. Ooh. Hey, we looking, uh, looking good. All right. So welcome to Alicia. Era player name missing. This is the Dreamnet system operating the failsafe in your vicinity. Do you have any mystery codes that you would like to activate at this time? Uh. Okay. I have no codes, so. Maybe not. So, currently, zero failsafe systems operating successfully. We ask for your patience whilst we fix these issues. This is a server error file missing. The current player population is one. The connection is strong. If you wish to exit Alicia, you must access the error file missing found throughout the region. Where am I? What is a dream net? What? Why am I here? Oh, okay. Uh, is this the map of the region? Ooh. Now this is looking awesome. What a banging region. Lots to explore, man. Lots to explore. All right. Let's make our way through. Hey, oh. Ah, hi. My name is Hoshi. My grandpa sent me to help Professor Roke with his research. I'm here wishing I could be more than I was born as... I want to help. Wait, wishing I could be more than I was born as? I want to help. I want to help everyone. And speaking of, did you come from the other side? Uh, you look confused. Look, I'll let the professor fill you in. Should take these though. Got a trainer card, sweet. And uh, I got a trainer card. As I hold it, my picture begins to appear. Without that, you can't move from Alicia without trouble. Take it and head to the... Advent Laboratory next door. That's where you'll see Oak again. But wait, there's something on your mind, right? Hmm. No, the Dreamnet is the name of our cross-regional rail service. Nothing more. Maybe you're still fuzzy from your journey. Take it easy, alright? Okie dokie. Uh, I want to speak to some people. You must be Voltsy. You're our greatest success. I'll shake your hand if I didn't think it'd disrupt the continuum of something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, did you go to the building next door to get your Pokemon? You'll most certainly be quite surprised by it. Oh, I know what they're going to be. Uh, did you think these trees that looked like Pokemon? Just wait until you see a pseudo wood oh, I can't wait, man. When do we get the running shoes? Just want to be able to run right now. Hey, yo. 
This lab looks at using the strange energies of the Advent Grove to make extraordinary things happen. Can you believe Professor Rosen discovered it abandoned and restored it himself? Who knows why it was just left here? Oh, okay. Oh, can't walk past a little bit there. Uh, hi. I've been working with a friend in Orin Town to create Pokeballs from Apricorns, but he's having much more luck than me. Hey, maybe you can take this to him. Sweet. See, speak to everyone, get free stuff. Uh, I've been working on technology to change a Pokemon's very nature. I found some promise in minty fresh hor uh, horticulture, but nothing has bloomed as of yet. Okay, let's talk to these two over here. It's foggy inside the machine. What happened to the Pokemon inside? Oh. Door seems to be jammed. You can't quite get inside. And then last person. Hey, oh. Uh, there's a bit of delay here, but a whole new species of Pokemon should come out when it's done. How long you ask? Don't ask me. Don't know how it works. Okay. Gonna feel bad for what's if it's like stuck in there. But let's head next door, go see Professor Oak and go and get our starter Pokemon, I'm guessing. Oh, there's a blue crystal. Something nearby just flashed a tranquil blue. So I feel like this should be familiar somehow. I can't quite place it. This crystal is strange, isn't it? it? Suddenly appeared one day with no explanation. We can't seem to move it, but if you touch it, it seems to smooth all of your worries. If you have Pokemon with you, it makes them feel better too. Oh. Touching the crystal leaves me feeling refreshed. Interesting. Uh, hi. What are you doing? So you're the one who arrived from another world. Foxy, right? How exciting. You looking for the professor? He's just stepped out. Check the shrine off to the left. I've noticed he's been going there a lot, of, a lot as of late. Okay, shrine to the left. So we go this way. Okie dokie. So Advent Shrine. There he is. Hey, oh. Oh, did you need me? Come look at this. Stand beside me. This is really quite a thing to behold. Isn't it beautiful? It's truly a marvel to behold. Wait, you must be Voltsy. What a surprise. Must apologize for not greeting you when you arrived. It's been quite some time since we made contact after all. In any case, a welcome to the Elysia region. And indeed, the world of Pokemon. It all must be quite a shock, yes? A little bit, yeah? Have you ever seen anything quite like it? We can't open it despite our best efforts. This shrine seems like it's been here in this clearing for quite some time. Perhaps even before the lab was set up here in Advent G Glade. It depicts forms of Pokemon that we have never encountered before. Not before a set in foot in Elysia, at least. I digress. But I brought you here for a reason, after all. Not only just to test the bounds of a new breakthrough in science, but also to become a Pokemon trainer, and in turn, help me solve a great mystery. Where did these extraordinary Pokemon come from? Uh, to what do they owe their origin? You'll need to travel far and wide to help answer that question. So, to begin your journey, I have a little gift for you. I've located three especially rare species just found for this purpose. Think carefully now, Voltsy. This choice will affect your adventure more than any other. Ooh, okay. So, what... What was he saying none of them? I wish I saved it. Uh, None of them? That's interesting, I didn't expect that answer. Are you sure you wouldn't like any of those Pokemon? Yes. Ooh! Okay. Do you happen to have one more then? It's a curious Eevee that remains a normal type. Its DNA is even more unstable than that of a regular Eevee. Its abilities? The mystery. Is this the, uh, the first Pokemon you'd like to take? Become your partner as you adventure through the region? Oh, I don't know, they're all so cool. So the thing is, I've seen, I think it's the final evolution of the free Pokemon. But I don't know anything about the Eevee. So I'm kind of more tempted to go for the Eevee. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do this. Okay, that's actually really awesome. Amazing! I'm sure you and Eevee will forge strong bonds together. Now, if you're going to help me with my research, you'll need a special tool to record data for this task. Meet me in my lab before you go. I have one final gift for you and your partner. Okay, it's an item over there. Let's go and grab that. What we got? Ooh, a Soothe Bell. Okay. Uh, let's look at the trainer card, though. I can't look at it. Uh, Soothe Bell. Let's give that to Eevee. Well, look at it, man. What's this uh, type? Pokemon's copies allies' abilities. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Let's go and touch the blue crystal then with Eevee. See, see what happens. I assume it's going to like, heal us up or something, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to assume it heals us up. Well, let's go and get our... I assume Pokedex, and then begin our adventure. 
So welcome to my new Pokemon lab. Let me introduce myself again. I'm of course Oak, the world's premier Pokemon professor. You must be wondering how you got here. That's a rather long story. Well, some time ago, my colleague Professor Rosen contacted me about a resurgence of what he calls Rosen forms in his home region of Alicia. They'd been a rarity before, uh, though always had to be quickly uh, suppressed due to the uh, drastic effect that they could have on the environment. He told me that their population had exploded without clear reason, and no one could explain why. In further communication, he told me that he had traced their particles back to Advent Grove, and had discovered a uh, derelict lab here. That is where we stand now. I came here to help him investigate these self-named self Rosen forms, and ultimately, that has resulted in you being here. I won't waffle about the details, I'm sure you're eager to depart. To that end, I would like to bestow on you a special device. It's at the top of the lab. Go and get one. Okie dokie. What's this? Some kind of item I don't recognize, I feel like I held it. We have the ability to scale sheer rock faces. Must belong to the presser. Okay. So that's rock climb, right? I guess we can come back and get that later on. Alright, uh, let's talk to the people real quick. This must be the new trainer, Voltsy, right? If you're already here, this should be of use to you. Ooh! Thank you very much. Do you expect more? Maybe if you come back later, I'll have something real special ready. Okay, okay. Gotta remember to come back here. So the Rosen forms are amazing. They have different types, abilities, and stats to their normal counterparts. And let's talk to you. The Rosen forms are worrying. They seem to be spreading unchecked out through the Elysia region. Uh, that device is my latest Pokedex. This region has diverse habitats and environments. So that device has been set up to attract West, Central, and East Elysia separately. As you journey around Elysia, I'd like to observe your efforts on the world around you, as well as have you uh, gather data on the so-called Rosen forms that exist here. Ooh, a wild radar. Sweet, that advice will help help with, help with that. Like it can immediately identify the trace of any species that reside within a given area to help you see ones you may otherwise miss. Not only that, but I would like you to track down my aforementioned colleague that seems to have disappeared. A few days ago, Professor Rosen said he needed to run an urgent errand in Enigma Town. He contacted us to say he had he'd arrived, but since nothing, I'm hoping he's just pursuing some big breakthrough. Could I ask you to go and retrieve him? Uh, no, no, of course we will. Excellent. Enigma Town is on, is the only way to get on the ferry to Jaboka Town too. That's where you'll find your first gym and join the Pokemon League Challenge. I know you're eager to set out, so but be wary in Enigma Town. The people there are secretive and isolated at the better times, but lately they've become all the stranger, never returning any communications. I'm sure there's nothing wrong, but please seek out Rosen there. All right, sounds good. So you're looking after the EV I found in Advent Glade one day. I'm glad an able trainer is. Uh, it, I'm glad an able trainer is, it's quite a volatile and tricky Pokemon to use. So I'm making a device that may be able to train that vol uh, volatility towards battle. It's not done yet, but if you come back late with that EV, I'll hand it to you to test in. Sweet! Okay, so definitely got to do a lot of backtracking uh, later on. It's just left his stuff everywhere, okay. Do I still have the running shoes? Oh, one more thing before you go. Maids have been researching the Rosen forms on Route 1. Could you help them with a battle? I'm sure they'll be excited to meet you. Now go, start your adventure for real. Oh, pressing the wrong button. Ah, the buttons are a little bit different than what I'm used to. But let me go to options. Is there like a, uh, oh, for the like default running? Oh no, there it is, yeah. Went right past it. That's better. Much, much better. So which way are we going? Up this way? Route one. Oh, got an antidote. Nice. Sup? Hey, trainer. You must be the new trainer, right? I was, uh, I was waiting here, and after I heard you had arrived, for what reason you ask? Due to proxim proximity with the RA region, trainers here in Alicia all partake exclusively in double battles. That means I'll have at least two Pokemon. The professor is forgetful with these things. He's not from here. So I have something for you. First you need to make a choice. Which phrase best describes you? Oh, okay. Uh, a passionate as a flame, persistent as a tide, peaceful as a forest. So we're going to get... You say none of them again. So do I want a fire, water, or grass type? Oh, I wish I saved it again. I didn't know this was going to happen. Uh, none of them? Hmm. Professor is forgetful of these things. He's not from here. Okay. So I have to say one of them. Um, mm, I don't know what to go for. I don't know what they are. Passion as a flame? Are you sure? Sure. Oh, okay. So the... Uh, Gen 2 starters. 
I love the little box with a little like, type in the background, it looks really cool, but... The cynical, of course, you'll find it matches your personality perfectly. So these Pokemon are, uh, are themselves, of course, quite rare. But there is a special reason that Professor Oak has given this particular Pokemon. If you if you can beat me in battle, maybe I'll tell you why. Oh, okay. Then they have like new forms, like evolutions, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, you got a Zigzag. Oh, look at that Taylo! Oh, it looks sick! I kind of wish I had picked Toto actually right now because I uh, had the rain. Uh, that's just, I guess, double attack. The Taylor looks like it's going to be grass type. Flying grass maybe. Oh, it does like no damage. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? This is going to be so bad. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep attacking. Oh, there's so much oh no, I didn't want to attack the uh, Taylor. Fine, it's fine. Alright, scratch that. I'm gonna try an Ember. I know the rain's up, but I just wanna see how much damage we can do because if it is grass time, it might do a little bit. If we get a crit as well, that could be really good. Oh yeah, that does this still does a lot of damage. Even with the rain up. The rain will just stop it from like taking any damage at all. Alright, scratch an ember again. And we're gonna miss. Great. The attack goes down. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. One more scratch or one more ember, it does not matter. Okay. So, all exclusively double battles in this game. That's actually kind of awesome. Alright, seems the professor knew what he was doing with you. I guess. So I know you want to start your adventure, so I'll be brief. Have you ever heard of ancient Hisui? Oh. It is what is known as the Sinnoh region. There are reports that Pokemon from that distant past have begun appearing here in Elysia. Records tell the lost forms of Typhlosion, Samurai, and Decidui. Oh, I wish I picked Decidui now! So simply put, we are curious that if that is how your new li little gift will evolve. Do keep us posted. Hurry along now. Oh, I want to change it! I didn't know it was going to be a Sui in forms! Ah! Like, I, I don't mind the Typhlosion, but I haven't ever used a Decidui, and I thought the Decidui looked kind of cool. When I play Legends Arceus, I picked the, I picked the Samurai. Which I do like, I think it's pretty cool, but I want to try the Decidueye out because I've never used it before. Oh, sad. If I knew. But, 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 if this game's got Hisuian forms, Hisuian Zorok, get that for the team, that'd be badass. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless, you know, they want to put a uh, brand new Zorok form in the game, like a Rosen form, then I would not be mad at that. Let's do this. Hopefully take you both out. Oh, you got the poison. I guess I'm gonna run back to the um the blue crystal. I wanna see if it does heal me up. Nice. Nice. Grow them levels. Sweet. And we should be fine. Oh, you got more Pokemon? Then we should still be fine. Oh no. No, Cyndaquil! Okay, not great. Alright, let's just keep uh, scratching. Also, I'm currently recording very early in the morning, so I might just put the clock forward a little bit and make it daytime. And maybe the rain will stop as well. That way uh, our embers can do a little bit more damage, you know? <laughs> That'd be really nice. But so far, this game's off to a really interesting start. Liking all the new forms, the choices. Very good, man. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, eventually one. Alright, let me go get healed up. Oh, 20 Pokeballs, nice. You need to bolster your team. Yes, I will. Alright, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, we're back. Nice and healthy. The blue crystals do actually heal you up. And I tried changing the time of day, but obviously it's still kind of night time. But at least the rain stopped. So now we can start going for Ember, doing a little bit more damage. Also, uh, let's see what kind of Pokemon we can find around here. Right, so we can't find the Taylor because it would have been showing up, but there's a few Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Ayo, Rosen forms are intriguing, but even a regular Pokemon have had subtle differences. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna say that might make me want to use some, uh, oh, you got an unknown. Yeah, it might make me want to use some, like, normal Pokemon, but I think I'd rather just go with, like, new forms. Right, so let's, go. Oh, let's lick you and ember you. Ooh, nice, much better. 
in a one-shot Pokemon. So good. Wait. Does it affect it? Isn't it not a psychic type? Guess not. Interesting. Okay, power, all good, all good. Nice. Get destroyed unknown. And grow them levels. Woo! Alright, oh, I love the uh the Colosseum victory music. I'm gonna say I love the Pokemon. Ooh. Like in the wild music. I have all the Pokemon victory sounds. I think I think the Colosseum one is my favorite. It's so good. Oh, I didn't even move in another encounter. Hey, Zigzagoon. Uh, just gonna run. Alright, there you go. Oh. Uh, let's see, got a pool. I'll take you out. Although I should... Mm, yeah, we're almost level 9. I guess we're leading off with... Uh, eat, uh, Cynical. Nice little Ember. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Uh, ooh. Two ways to go. East or south. Let's go south, because I think we, can, think we can battle that scientist, maybe. Get some more experience. Ayo. Aha! You, you're from another world. Let me research if your battling style is any different. Uh, it's probably a little bit different. Let's see. But Taylor and a Pichu. Oh, look, the Pichu looks different. Hey. So this game has both the regional and non-regional forms. But, because I've got the normal Taylor there. Oh, the Pichu looks so cute. Kind of want to use it, to be honest. Let's just go Ember, hopefully. Oh, Payday. Noise, give me that money. Well, do I get money as well from Payday? Or is it just the user that gets the money? Hopefully I get some money as well, because getting a little bit extra is always nice. Nice, level 9. Ember, okay. Not bad. Oh, and Water Gun? Sweet! Uh... Gonna get rid of... Mm. I'll keep Lick just in case. And fun as your- oh, this moveset Eevee wants to learn right now. Yes, please. This is actually, uh, kind of awesome. Let's get rid of La uh, Leer for Howl. Super Sonic's gone miss, so we, oh, we got a Thunder Shock, baby! This is Eevee, I am definitely happy now. Like, I was, I, I was a little bit hesitant getting the Eevee, but... After using it, it's actually really cool. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I saw that from the other side. I'm not sure we can get that now, but we can. On the left, it was some rock smashable rocks as well, but obviously we don't have rock smash. But we're going to be coming back here at some point anyway. Talk to the lady, get the item from the Eevee. Talk to the person by the Pokedex and maybe get a rock climb. Oh, they look very unique, but have you heard of Team Null? I haven't. I'm guessing the purple hair girl there is Team Null, and the one on the left is probably someone that's going to be important because they look important. Oh, you got Mareep. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Uh, Pachirisu's sprite looks different. It's like an old fours. It looks... <laughs> looks... It looks... I don't know. It looks wrong. It looks cute but wrong. Alright. Uh, I don't even remember that should take you out and the bite should come off. So we should be fine. Thunder shock you, Ember. Try and store all that energy. Not against me. Nice level 10. Let's go and level 11. I feel like I'm getting a lot of experience, which is good. But isn't there like a level cap to plan on normal mode? Uh, maybe the. Oh, we can't get the trainer card, can we? No, we can from here. Sweet. So there's 12 gym badges. I say some games have like the level cap on the trainer card. Uh, can I get to that? Hmm. This leads to it then. Sweet, but it doesn't look like it does. I need to get some repels. I feel like the encounter rate's pretty high. Also, well, let me check the encounters. I'm pretty sure we're missing like two Pokemon. Yeah. Maybe the Pichu, maybe the regional Talo. Oh! Oh, look at that. Is that Spinarak? Just discovering the new forms. Oh, it's so fun. Hey, oh. So let me see if, if I'm just as lucky in battle as I was when I just reeled these in. 
Ooh, okay. Maybe if we beat him, we get a fishing rod? Wumple and a Feebas. Alright, he's gonna Thunder Shock and Ember. This Eevee with these new, ti uh, these new moves, man. Oh, so good. I feel like e Eevee's just like the, the way to make it easy mode. <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice. Alright, what's your last Pokemon? Another Feebas. Tackle and Thunder Shock. Ooh, we do that damage though. Critical hit. Am I speed roads? Wait, what? Why did my speed graze? What? Uh. Oh! Moves have different. Um. Abilities. Sweet. Okay. That's actually kind of good. Um, who do you think lives here? I trace the signal of an unidentified Rosen form back to this house, but I can't get inside. I'm sure if I find out who lived here, I can track down some way in. Uh, if we cut, maybe we can just make way through. But I'm guessing maybe we can get through the door, then go through the back, and there's probably an entrance to get to that TM behind. But I'm in a lot of backtracking we do in this game at some point. Which is good. Oh, oh! Yes, we're gonna catch this, 100%. It's so cute. You should look adorable, man. Oh, okay, that's not very effective. Okay, uh. Go for Ember. Oh, don't be eating a berry. All right, another Ember. Just don't wanna kill you, I wanna catch you. All right, red HP, that should be enough. Come on. 20 Pokeballs, we got this. And the question now is, does this game have, like, default XP share? Hopefully it does, because that makes just training so much easier. So much easier. Alright. So this is normal grass. It's theorized that a Pachirisu that has lost its charge fades from blue to grey without static. It steals surplus food from unwary trainers. Nice, we got a grass type. Not bad, and is there any more Pokemon we to find around here? Still one more. Uh, hi. Did you go to Enigma Town already? I uh, haven't. Voltsy, here's your friendly reminder to, well, talk to every single person you meet here. Every time. Every single Arceus Forsaken time. Please come up to me and ask me, what do I do? And I, I'm just so sick and tired of it. Well, thanks for listening to my ROM. I know, here, have a random or or Orenberry. In fact, why not have five? Sweet! Well, I try to speak to everyone. Sometimes I accidentally miss people, but I try to speak to as many people as possible. Why has someone thought of it as a hilarious uh, antidote? I just couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, there's an ominous energy with, with, an, with an Enigma Town. Oh, it's gotten dark and a bit mysterious. You know what? But I think it's a great place to end this part off. I want to get healed up as well before we head in. But I'll catch you guys next time. We're going to head into Enigma Town and uh, see what's up. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.